What's up guys, my name's Captain Dave, and welcome to The Walking Dead. Now I know this is kind of, uh, kind of a little bit different from the superhero bonanza that seems to be the norm on my channel nowadays, but um, I am a huge fan of The Walking Dead, and I've heard it's actually quite similar to the, the comic books as well, not just in, like, in, the, uh, in the appearance of the characters, but in the way the story plans out as well, I've heard it's very similar. And I've always meant to pick up the comic books, I've always wanted to give them as read as well. But uh, never quite got round to it. But I've played this game before and it is an awesome game. And I thought it would be a crime and an obscenity if I did not share it with you guys. So I'm going to go for it this time and I'm going to make different choices from what I made from the time before. Just to just to kind of mix it up a little bit so it's different for me as well. So uh, <laughs> without further ado, it's hunting time boys and the game be zombies. So let's do this. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Ah, oh, brilliant. Well, let me out this car then. Oh, we'll be on my way. You know what they say about reckoning? I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. We got what looks like a 1091 e near Beach Ridge, 285. All cars asked to keep on the lookout for a 91B in the area. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Ah, you're from making and are you, boy? Well, <laughs> tickle me pink. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. Getting your magnum P.I. on, are you? Real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Was this question time? You want to know how I see it? Not really. Too bad. My car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Give it to him! <sighs> now, Riot, that's got to be important. But, didn't get the chance to click on it there. Glad you're patrolling our streets, mate. I feel very safe. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big, soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. 
and he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. I'll zap you so if you don't look where you're going. Having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Ooh, foreshadowing. Well, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing uh, and a bit more hilarious dude. if I do say Fucking so. Fucking drive! This other time... <laughs> Did I just see a samurai sword? I'm pretty certain it was probably a baton, but <laughs> it looked like a samurai sword. Man. Night time and they're still killing him. They are taking their sweet time with that guy. Glad I'm locked in the back of this police car. I was about to say, if first is the only thing he's worried about right now, then he is a lucky, lucky man. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Why the hell did he have his gun out? I'm going to go ahead and assume that has something to do with the big patch of blood behind him. Uh. Hey! Hey, you back there. That, that, that window uh. there be government property, and if you keep kicking it, I'm going to be forced to come back there and zap you one. Seeing as how he's unconscious and probably dead, I thought I'd fill in his role for him there. And away we go. I need to drag myself out that window. I said away we go. <laughs> out of all the legs you're going to land on, I think that probably wasn't the best choice. I mean, I know it's kind of a 50-50 split, but I think that would have been one of the one times you might wanted to give old lefty the go. Uh, probably right now that is the least of your concerns. I'm thinking we get the gun first. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Yeah, it probably would be, but still, there's a dead guy there. I probably wouldn't have left it on the floor. Hell, we he could probably use if it's empty. He could use it as like a crutch to walk along with. I mean, it's not going to shoot him if it's empty. Ah, it's a smart man. <laughs> Half expecting him to put the shotgun shell down. It would be much easier to carry with these cuffs off. Officer smells. God damn. <laughs> what do you think? Is Samuel Jackson now? Alright. Do not do a Herschel now. Do not stick your leg by the dead guy. Shit. <laughs> what did I just say about sticking the body part by a dead guy? See, I don't, I don't quite see why he acted like that. I mean, he doesn't know it's a zombie apocalypse yet. I mean, I know if there was a dead guy, you really want to stick a body part by him anyway, but he doesn't know he's going to try and buy him. Don't speak of the devil. Oh, God damn! <laughs> yeah, both of them are good options. Get away from 
Uh, grab the shotgun. That seems like the logical choice here. Oh, jeez, you really are butt fingers, aren't you? you? Slip out of the car, you drop the keys, you drop the shotgun shell. I know you're scared, but you need to get your act together. Boom, baby! common case when the guy doesn't have a head, but I'm assuming he means what was he before. <laughs> a little girl, I'm not gonna lie, a little girl just scared me a little bit. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! She's either going to get help or she's just ditched us, but either way I think we have more immediate problems. Yep, running would be a good choice right about now. <laughs> what did I say about not putting your leg near the dead guy's face? <laughs> oh! God, this guy's not an easy butt of fingers, he seems to be butt of legs as well. I know your legs hurt, but <laughs> this is like child stuff left foot, right foot. He's on his butt again. I don't know, I think this is going to be a recurring theme throughout this game. The way this guy keeps falling over, you'd almost think this is walking dead on ice. Which, by the way, I would go and see. Hello? Anybody? Yeah, stop shouting. <laughs> the zombies only left because people started using gunshots. I wouldn't start shouting and draw them back again. Yeah, all jokes aside, if there was a walking dead on ice, I'd go see it. And I hate all those on ice things. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Place the bourbon with rum, and I like your style. Anybody up there? Hello? Anybody Help. in there? Whoa, look at that! Lee can shout over himself. Impressive man. Third time's a charm. I thought I saw a little girl in the forest. Are you up there? I'm not one of those things. <laughs> to which a zombie comes through the fence. Bah! I, uh... I am not one of those things either. Brains, I mean, help. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Well, open says me. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Exactly what I was thinking. Great minds think alike. Or at least I'll do anyway. It's fate. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I will answer that in a minute. I want to check out the kitchen first. Oh, Jesus. Nope, don't think he did it. And he's down again. Man, I should really get a tally chart going. The amount of times this guy drops stuff and falls over. 
And now you're covered in blood. Alright, what have we got around here? Ah, did you finally find yourself some bourbon? Good man, good man. No, draw number one. No, pots and pans. What exactly are we looking for here? Mm, you never know what's going to come in handy. Although, to be honest, I think I would have picked up one of those knives and forks. Any kind of sharp object's good until you can find something better. Oh, isn't it? Look, well, grab one of those knives as well. One of them would come majorly in handy right about now. That's the first thing I'd go for. I am, three new I am beginning to see a recurring pattern with these cupboards. Just wait and open one and just blur. Mm, the Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Hmm. That is a good conclusion there, Holmes. Watson, write this down. That note was for the babysitter. All right. Well, I'm supposed to be able to answer this Furniture message. Overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. I've already said it. wasn't him who did this. Oh, that's that beeping. God, that kid lived here. This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? I'm assuming we spent some time in that car. Ugh, cables out. Probably why he was so thirsty when he woke up as well. Anyway, let's go answer this f message. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? My butt's talking to me. Hello? You need to be quiet. Oh, fine, I won't talk to you then. <laughs> Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Oh, well, we know where our parents are. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> oh, jeez! Thanks for the warning there, Clementine! Oh, cute! That's your powerful cute! 
Whoop! Oh! <laughs> there he goes again! Kick the babysitter in the head! Oh! <laughs> He's down again! This is not what people told me babysitters were like. Or maybe I've just been watching too many adult movies! Oh, powerful Q! Thanks, Clementine! And she wasn't even a zombie. She was just butt ugly. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Hmm, look for help before it gets dark. Get out of here once the sun goes down. Well, even though, you know, on the cover of darkness, you're like, you're harder to find, I also believe that they're harder to find. So, I would, if this was me in this situation, probably get out there as soon as, when it's daytime and I can see what's going on. I mean, it's not exactly like they're fast. I don't want them sneaking up on me. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. <laughs>